Good evening. Uh, my, as they, uh, John and, and uh, Kevin indicated, my name is Mitchell Shields, and I'm going to be working for John in preparing this uh, environmental impact statement. And what we wanted to do right now is give you all an understanding of the, the scope of the projects that will be evaluated in the EIS. Um, so what we're, we will be evaluating is called the Southeast Market Pipelines Project, or SMP. It actually consists of three uh, separate but, uh, but related projects that are um, going to be evaluated in one EIS document under NEPA. The, the main project we're going to be talking about tonight that we're looking for comments on or expecting comments is related to the Sabal Trail project, which is uh, proposed by Sabal Trail Transmission, LLC. The other two projects are are uh, known as, uh, are called the Florida Southeast Connection Project and the Hillaby Expansion Project, also known as FSC or Hillaby Expansion. This map shows uh, how the projects are related to each other um, in southeastern United States. Up in Alabama, oops, wrong button, is the Hillaby Expansion Project, which consists of uh, new pipeline and new compression facilities along an existing system, excuse me, new pipeline loop and new compression. Down in the, in the lower central part of Florida is the Florida Southeast Connection Project, and in between is the Sable Trail Project, which consists of, well, let me back up here, Florida Southeast Connection includes just new pipeline. Sable Trail is new pipeline, new compression, and two laterals, one's called the Citrus County Line and the other is the Hunter Creek Line. In, uh, when combined, in total, uh, these projects would impact approximately 13,670 acres of land uh, with temporary construction impacts. That would be associated with what's typically between 100 and 110 feet of construction right away in uplands and 75 feet in wetlands. And after they're through, they would require approximately 4,320 acres to maintain the pipeline and above ground facilities for uh, operation. Real quickly, uh, the Hillaby expansion, this is a map that shows Hillaby expansion in a little more detail. Again, it's, there's eight, they're called pipeline loops. Loops are adjacent to an existing, you know, pipelines that are constructed adjacent to an existing operating system and connected at each end into the existing system. There are eight of those that would be installed, uh, totaling 43.6 miles. There would be one new compressor station and modifications of three existing compressor stations on that system. This construction would be phased over several years. <clears throat> and it would ultimately increase the capacity of that system by 1.1 billion cubic feet per day by 2021. The Florida Southeast Connection Project uh, would involve the installation of approximately 126 miles of up to 36 inch diameter pipeline, and that would have an initial capacity of approximately 600 million cubic feet per day. So Sabal Trail, as I mentioned, is, is in between um, the Hillaby Expansion and the Florida Southeast Connection project down here. It would in, include a main line, five new compressor stations, one of which is in Georgia, and these two laterals. This slide summarizes how construction of Sable Trail. Excuse me, sir. Can we dim these lights any better? They're really washed out. I don't think I'm hearing all these. Break on Can you dim the lights back? That good? Is that helpful? Uh, maybe a little bit. I think it's definitely better. Definitely better? I apologize. Uh, if you'd like, I could back up and show some of these other slides. Here. Okay. So this, this slide uh, summarizes how the Sable project would be constructed um, in phases. 
the first phase, um, if approved, the project would uh, construct 460, approximately 460 miles of 36 inch diameter, um, beginning near Alexander City in, in Alabama, coming through Georgia and down into Central Florida to a new Central Florida hub. That would be that 14 mile uh, Hunter's Creek line, which is would be 36 inch diameter pipeline in Osceola and Orange Counties, Florida, and 24 miles of 24 inch line that would be constructed in Marion and Citrus County, that's a Citrus County line, and there would be three construct compression stations constructed in 2017, uh, including one in Alabama, in Tallapoosa County, and two in Florida, those being in Suwannee and Osceola counties. In 2020, Sable would construct two new compressor stations. That would be one in Doherty County, Georgia, and the other in Marion County, Florida. And by 2021, they would add additional compression at the Doherty and Suwannee County compressor stations to increase natural gas capacity uh, to 1.1 million cubic feet per day by 2021. Again, if approved, they would be in construction in 2016. I, I, I may have, I want to clarify this. They would begin construction in 2016 and have these facilities in service, the, the initial facilities in service by 2017. Based on uh, our review to date and the comments received to date, we've identified um, a variety of issues. They're summarized on this slide and include agricultural impacts, uh, alternatives, um, land use issues related to residences and forestry, uh, pipeline integrity and safety has been identified as an issue, uh, comments on groundwater and surface water quality, wetlands, uh, fisheries, wildlife, threatened and endangered species, karst features, and cultural resources. And these and other issues would be evaluated in the EIS. So now I'm going to return it to uh, Kevin so that you all can provide comments on these projects. What is karst? Karst, karst is uh, a type of a geologic feature that um, is associated with sinkholes where the uh, surface water dissolves and uh, has rapid can rapidly access the groundwater resources. And um, so sinkholes are a very common uh, feature associated with cars. Broken, fractured, that run, basically. Okay, thanks for bearing with us. We'll get to the third part now.